and welcome back to Incredible Inverse and other animals with me, Phil. And in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the white spotted assassin bug. So, let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, so here we have the white spotted assassin bug or Platymerus bigotatus. So, these are adult ones. Now, you can see where they get the common name of white spotted, also known as the twin spot or two spot. Uh, but a few other species can sometimes be called that as well. So, you do get similar species like the red spotted, yellow spotted, and the orange spotted as well, uh, which basically have the same sort of body shape. Some are a little bit bigger, some are a little bit smaller. And then, obviously, the two uh, spots of uh, the respective colours. So, the white spotted assassin comes from sort of subtropical Africa. Uh, now, most of these assassin bugs uh, do, and the uh, the colours on these guys are warning coloration. So we often think as bright colours as being warning colours, but so is black and white. And they, these guys warn potential uh, predators that they are venomous. They can spray their venom as well. So, and they are called assassin bugs for a good reason. They do assassinate their prey. So these guys are a true bug. So the word bug is a scientific word, um, not just a a general generalization of uh, all things invertebrate so to be a bug you need to be an insect with piercing mouth parts and that's what these guys have they have what we call a rostrum uh, which is sort of attached to the head and that is their mouth part so it's essentially like a, a straw if you like they pierce their prey uh, so these ones in captivity here at the uh, wilder part they work out maybe we give these guys uh, primarily brown crickets and mealworms they will pierce those inject venom the venom is used to paralyze but also to start the digestive process as well it starts essentially liquefying the prey so they can drink their prey now these guys uh, when they hatch out the egg they are just miniature versions of the adult uh, just without the two white spots and as they get older as they molt uh, they actually turn bright red initially again as warning coloration and then within within that day they turn to their black coloration then they get the two uh, white spots on their back, on their sort of their wings, if you like, once they reach adulthood. So, so these guys are fairly simple uh, to keep. I keep these pretty damp, actually. I, so I actually pour water into their substrate around about two to three times a week and keep it pretty moist throughout, which means that their eggs don't take too long to hatch out and they'll soon sort of flood the enclosure with plenty of nymphs. Now, them being uh, carnivorous and eating lots of insect prey, they can be a bit cannibalistic if you don't provide enough food for them. And so, basically, I flood the enclosure, uh, again, sort of two to three times a week with plenty of live food. As I say, uh, brown crickets work absolutely perfectly for these guys of various sizes, as well as things like mealworms and any kind of suitably sized invertebrate. Now, that is a quick introduction to the white spotted assassin bug. Okay guys, so that was the white spotted assassin bug. What do you guys think? Aren't they absolutely beautiful? I absolutely love my assassin bugs. Uh, got white spots, got yellow spots and red spots here as well. So I will be doing videos on those uh, other species at some point as well, although they are fairly similar in terms of their, their upkeep. So oh, white spots, yeah, absolutely fantastic. So, so if you did like this video, please do give it a thumbs up. Pop some comments down below. Yet, please do consider subscribing to the channel and hit that bell for notifications so you know next time I upload another video. And also, if you'd like to support even further, I do have Patreon, there's channel membership, uh, there's, I have a merch store, I have uh, affiliate links uh, with Spy Shop and discount codes with MK Exotics and Antscapes. All those links will be down in the description uh, for you to view at your leisure. And if you do fancy doing that, it is certainly much, much appreciated. A big thank you goes out to my Patreon and my channel members. But until next time, guys, uh, thank you for watching. Take care and keep rocking.